Well, Sunny writes in, and she's getting ready to move to Georgia, has some real estate and uh, living trusts. Uh, what was that? She has no debt. Her, her, I think she's married. Um, and uh, her attorney is advising her to put $200,000 of her, uh, her assets into a, uh, some kind of a new insurance company's uh, annuity, long-term care annuity. So it sound, sounds like a variable annuity with a long-term care rider. Now, long-term care rider means they give you, a, essentially, they'll give you either an accelerated death benefit on the life insurance amount, or they'll give you a certain amount of your portfolio value to cover long-term care costs, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I don't have any problem with it. I mean, my goodness, I, I don't have any problem. I, have, I didn't do any financial planning with Su, uh, Sunny, so I don't know what her whole uh, scenario is. But, um, yeah, I, I don't have any problem with that stuff. Uh, talking to a guy two days ago, he had some life insurance uh, he bought with a with a the purpose to have long-term care rider and that rider is r-i-d-e-r rider like rider university i think that's in new jersey or something like that um and all that does says look at the end of the day if there is a situation where you need long-term care we will take money out of your annuity guaranteed and we'll take money or you take money out of your life insurance guaranteed uh, even before you're dead, accelerate death benefit, or we're going to do it from a guaranteed perspective on the death on the cash value of the annuity or the life insurance. The, the only problem with all this stuff I have is you're still relying a lot on the life insurance company or the, in this case, the insurance company it might not be a life insurance company, it might just be an annuity company, but usually the same uh, <laughs> to, uh, to grant you access to your own money. And I just, that's a problem I have with these, with these things. Like how, what kind of hurdles do you got to jump to validate that you can't do two of the six activities of daily living? I've heard both sides numerous times that the insurance company was easy to work with. They gave me the check. You basically sight on scene. I've also heard the other side that the insurance company was a pain in the butt. They wouldn't, you know, I've heard, I just heard both. And that's, that's always a challenge because the insurance company, remember when it comes to, so you always got to remember when it comes to life insurance and long-term care, there's two competing entities. The life insurance company wants you to live long because most likely you're going to stop paying the premium and they won't have to pay a death benefit. The long-term care company wants you to die early because you'll die too quick before you file a claim for long-term care. It's, it's very, it's a two competing entities here. So when you're taking a life insurance company who's offering a long-term care benefit as part of the life insurance package, yeah, inherently that's just it's going to be expensive because they they have two i mean they have two competing entities the life insurance no, no don't eat the flowers hey 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 no big bear they have two competing things you got I, it's going to cost you more because if you die too soon they're going to have to pay the significant death benefit and it's also going to cost you more again you because they can't just give it away for free because if you live too long there's more of a chance that they're going to file a long-term care claim and that's going to cost the life insurance company money have they priced it correctly? I, I don't know. And this is the challenge. And so if I'm a life insurance company and it looks like I'm not going to have to pay out the death benefit because you're going to live, you know, basically you, you live too long, essentially. But now you're on long term care. I just I always get worried about that. Look, it's just maybe it's my own paranoia because I'm a long term financial planner. But, man, I tell you, it's easy on the front end of the sales side to be convinced that they're going to work with you. But I've seen it on both sides where they say, no, we, we're not going to. Yeah. we're not going to make this easy for you to get your money, your money. You know, you have to prove and, and you're like, I, ah, I have a hard time with that. So anyway, I know that doesn't help, but uh, it's one of those things you, I, you just got to dig deep in that and, and go with your gut, I think. All right, hope this helps. See ya.